Not every exercise is suitable for every person. Be sure to consult with your physician before starting, stopping, or changing an exercise program. All participants of this or any exercise program assume the inherent risk of injury due to exercise. If at any time you feel pain during any type of exercise, stop and rest. Hey team, I'm Alexis, the host of your Priority One Fitness Show, and guess what? We're sitting today. Isn't that nice? But we're still going to do it all, so welcome back my partner, George. He's a regular this season, and hopefully you're willing to play along with us. But of course, as always, if at any time you get tired, something goes awry, take a break. We're not expecting you to do it all. We're only expecting you to do what you can get done today. Work with the body you were given today. So what do you say, kids? Let's go ahead and get rolling. First things first, you know, if you've been with us before, we have a hard-seated chair. Whether it's a folding chair or a kitchen chair, that part's irrelevant, but we do want to make sure we have a hard seat below the hips. With a soft seat, the hips tend to sink down in, it misaligns the joints, it really doesn't it enable us to keep that spine tall. So, you got your hard seated chair, and as you see, George and I have broken up with the back of the chair. We are sitting tall, relying upon our bodies for posture, rather than leaning and slouching back. So, if at any time you feel that lean back, hopefully I'll be here to remind you. Now, first things first, eyes on the road, so eyes on us. You're going to put the ears over the shoulders, the shoulders over the hips, and we're going to warm some stuff up. So let's spend a few minutes on the joints. Looking at our feet, we're going to rock the heels and the toes, and we're thinking about warming the ankles. And you'll hear some background music behind us. We're not always going to keep the beat. We're not worried about that. It's there just to keep you busy, give you something to listen to instead of just my hot air. So let's do a couple more warming the shins and the calves. And two more, and two, and one, and done. And let's go ahead and put a couple of circles in if you can. We see that the knee is steady and we're drawing a circle with the big toe. And let's reverse when you're ready. And let's go ahead and find the other foot. Round and round, drawing a circle with the big toe and the knee itself is steady. And let's reverse. Okay, let's make our way into the knee. We're going to tap a heel and a toe on either foot. Let's go ahead with heel and toe and heel and toe. You're warming the knee, you're warming the knee. We have three and three, two and two and one. Let's switch feet. And you have the other side. You're doing a one, you're doing a two. You got your heel and your toe. And it doesn't matter which way you're going. We have three and two and two and one and done. Let's make our way into the hips. Now we're going to do some hip rotation exercises, or one in particular. This isn't for everyone, so if it doesn't feel right, scrap it. That's okay. We're looking to warm up the hip joint. George and I bring our hips to the front of the chair in a safe place. We put the long legs out in front of the bod. We have a little bend in the knee, and the toes are up. We're going to take those knees and toes, and we're going to rotate them out to the side, and we're going to bring the knees and toes up. Knees and toes out to the side, knees and toes up. This silly floppy exercise helps to move the femur within the hip joint. Warm in the hips for three and three. Warm in the hips for two and two and one and done. Feet are flat. Let's go into the muscles of the hip. 90 degree knee and we're going to take that knee out to the side. Keep your knee and toe traveling as a pair. Taking the right knee out. We're taking the right out and we're bringing it home. The left heads out and in, we warm the hip, and in, we warm the hip, and lead with the knee for three, and in, and three, and in, and two, and center, and two. One more time, over here, and one, and done, and rest. Let's warm that waist. We're getting into the soft section. We're going to try and reach across the body. We're using our right arm to reach over the left side and left across the body. And use your waist, and use your waist. Warm that soft section, three more, and three. And it doesn't need to be grand. You know we can reach just a little ways if you'd rather reach over the knee. This is our last one. It doesn't need to be dramatic. Let's start rowing the boat. We're gonna go ahead and row or swim. You can go either direction, because we're gonna do them both. Now you can feel that these circles are warm in your shoulder joint, four more up and over for three, and two to go, 
and we're going to reverse that circle and jump out of the boat and you're swimming. And you're gonna pull that water up and over the top. We're warming the chest muscles, three more. Up and over the top, two. And last one, okay, into your bows. The elbow joint, you're gonna jump that jump rope. And again, nothing too dramatic. We have the shoulders low. Let's do three more, two more, and let's reverse. You're warming the elbow with some circles, oscillating through the elbow, and three, and two, and let's move those wrists around a few times. Now this is the far end of the carpal tunnel, wrist joint, simple circles, fairly simple. Okay, kids, let's go ahead and get rolling. Sitting nice and tall, we're gonna start with the big muscles in the upper leg. We're gonna tap one heel and alternate to the opposite foot. Now we're trying to keep that posture. So if you're feeling steady, your hands might be at your hips. If you need better back support, go ahead and grab below that hard seat. So at any pace you like, pick a foot, here we go. We are out and in and alternate in. And a one and a two and a one and a two. And heel and in and heel and in. And tap and retract and tap and retract. Let's pick it up, two, three, four. Pick it up, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, in, five, and four, in, four. We're tapping three, in, three. We're out for two, in, two. And one more time, and done, rest. Okay, we're moving up to the upper pod. Let's do some push-ups. We're gonna bring those babies up and you're pushing through the heel of your palm, you're using the chest where it connects to the shoulder. Keep your back steady and move the wall in front of you, push towards us, and then bring it back. Here we go. Push toward the TV and bring it home. Heel of the palm and retract. Heel of the palm and feel the chest muscles. Nine, and bring it home. Push like you mean it. And eight, heel of the palm. And seven, shoulders are level. And six, push toward me and five, forward for four, and in. We're pushing for three, and back. Pushing two, one more time, hold tight. Push that wall, heel of the palm, and feel the chest muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. And roll them around. We always take a moment to shake it off. Now we're going into the back of the body, and I'm gonna do a combination on you here. Tufa, and you got a little bogo. So we're going to warm the upper back, and then we're going to follow with the middle of the back and the rear of the shoulder. So we're putting two of our common exercises that we've done together before, we're putting these two together. But you can always do one or the other. You don't have to do them both. Pick the one that works for you. So we're nice and tall. Let's start with the upper back. We round these guys right here. We're going to take the elbows high and wide and we squeeze the spine between those shoulder blades. Let's round those arms, and now you're gonna take it low and straight past your waist. See how the elbow comes back. Let's go ahead and take it high. High and wide, squeeze the spine. Low and narrow, pull the ropes. And high for the upper back, and pull for the middle of the back and shoulder. And nice, easy pace, and to the center, and take it low, and high, and seven, and low, and seven, and high, and six, and low, and six. And the elbows lead, five, and we bring it past the waist, five. And we're sitting tall for four, and take it low for four. And we squeeze the spine, three, and we pull those ropes, three. And high and wide, two to go. Low and narrow, middle of the back and shoulder. Here it comes, hold tight, squeeze. And you can see we've leveled off those elbows and the wrists are straight. Five, four, three, two, to the front you go. Pull those ropes, squeeze the ball between your elbows, and five, four, three, two, drop it. Ah, shake it off, team, shake it off. Nice and easy on those shoulders. Okay, let's go back down to the legs. We're gonna give the upper bot a break and we're going into the leggings. So we're keeping those thigh bones fairly parallel. We're going to keep the low back steady. So what we want to avoid is that lean back. So as the toe comes up, try and keep your torso upright as best you can. Hands one or hands two. Keep the thigh bones where they are and kick a toe up to the roof. And then switch legs and squeeze the knee and release. Lock that knee and down. Lock that knee and down. Sitting tall and 10 and up and 10. Squeeze the thigh muscle. Nine, squeeze the thigh muscle. Nine, low back is steady. And eight, eyes on the road. And eight, and seven, and release. And seven, 
and release. Quick to contract and six. Lock that knee and toe to the roof. Five and toe to the roof. Five. Sit tall. Four. Eyes on me. Four. And three, two, one. Three more and slow and swift and slow and swift and two and up and two. Here comes. Here we go. Hold tight. Toe to the roof. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two. Set her down. Other side. Sitting tall. Squeeze right through here. Five, four, three, two. Rest. Ah, rest. Okay, the legs are going to take a break. We're going into the upper body again. Now, let's go ahead and think about the back of the bod again. Now, we're thinking about this muscle right here. It's the tricep muscle, which is opposite the bicep muscle. Every muscle has an opposer. So what's, what, is, what happens in the front has something in the back that balances it. So we might not think about the back of the upper arm very much, but it does more work than you know. So let's figure out how to focus on that muscle all by itself. We're gonna sit tall, just as you were, right where I left you. And we're gonna bring up those suitcases. Now note that when George and I pick up our suitcases, we have narrow elbows. We want to avoid the desire to chicken wing. So bring those elbows in. You can feel the shoulder blades come together. The elevated elbow stays where it is. We extend back. Watch out for the back of your chair. Don't whack those knuckles. And we squeeze the back of the upper arm while locking the elbow. Bring only your hands forward. The elbow is the joint that moves. It's the fulcrum. Here we go. We lock those bows and we bring the hands forward. We squeeze the back of the upper arm and we retract your paws. And back of the upper arm and bring the hands in. Let's do nine and three, two, one and eight and back in. Squeeze the back of that upper arm and seven. Lock those elbows and six. Arms are narrow and five. Arms are narrow and four. Kick it back to three and in. You're back for two. One more time, hold tight and breathe. Lock those elbows and squeeze the back of that upper arm. Five, four, three, two, done. Rest. Okay, do what we do. You can see that we are naturally inclined to shake it off and roll it around. So we do those little motions in between exercises to give the joints a chance to relax. Not only the joints, but it also gives the mind a chance to stop one thing and start moving on to another. And the joints need just as much love as the, as the muscles do. It's a two-party system. I like to say it's one of the only places in the world where a two-party system actually works. So it's the muscles and the joints, the muscles and the joints. The muscles do the work and the joints to help to stabilize everything. So now that I've blown that hot air your way, there's no quiz, you don't need to remember any of that. Let's get into the front of the body. So a few minutes ago I mentioned how the, uh, the tricep opposes the bicep. So let's do a little bicep work. You might have done this one with us before. Now, I like to do this exercise, <clears throat> it, this combination in particular, because it recruits our bicep, which attaches to the front of the shoulder, which also attaches to the, to the chest. These three muscles are a grouping that need to work together on a frequent basis. So we're going to keep our pace easy, but we're going to use the bicep, the shoulder, and the chest. Here again, we're looking to keep those arms fairly narrow. So you're up and you're tall, right? Of course you are. Arms down at your sides, and we're going to touch that shoulder. We're going to push up to your shell. We're going to bring it back to your shoulder and then down at the hip. Now, to the shoulder, to the shelf, to the shoulder, keep it narrow. And shoulder and shelf and back and down. And shoulder and shelf and back. Keep it narrow, 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 back and down, we have seven, we push, we're back and down. Biceps, shoulder, chest, back and six. Biceps, shoulder, chest, back and five. We're curling, we're pushing, we're back and four. Three to go, get them up, bring them home, set them down. We have a two, we push, we're back. One more time, bring them all the way up, hold tight. Your shoulders are low. Don't give those ears a shelf. Squeeze the ball. Five, four, three, two, one. And now bring them in and hold your serving platter. Feel that platter with your wrist straight. And five, four, three, two, one. If you were carrying that platter, you should have felt it right in through here. Okay, moving right along. Moving right along. Let's get into the hips. We're going to take our knee out to the side, just as we did in our warm-up. Only we're going to do more of them. Lucky you. 
So what we're thinking about, again, just a quick review, keep your knee and your toe pointed in the same direction. They travel as a pair. The knee comes out to the side. We maintain that 90 degrees, and the torso stays forward. As the knee heads out to the side, we're engaging the outside of the hip, and as we bring it back in, we're using the inside of the hip. So we're going to alternate leg to leg. If you find the desire to lean away from the working leg, go ahead and take a break. You're probably a little bit tired. We want to keep that torso upright as much as we can. You ready? Okay, hands one or hands two. We're going to start with our right knee. You pick either knee. Here we go. Knee out to the side and in. Other way. Out and in. And knee and in. And knee and in. 90 degrees. Bring it home. Take the toe with you and in. But lead with the knee and in. And lead with the knee. Nine to go. We are out for nine and in. We are out for nine and in. Torso tall and steady. Eight. Lead with the knee. And eight. Eyes on me and seven, sit tall and in. Use that hip and six, use that hip and six and five and in and five. Down to four, got you four and bring it home. Four and bring it home. Three and center, three. Easy pace for two and in and two. One more time, use that hip and we are done. Rest, okay, I'm moving right along. Let's move into the back of the body again. Now we're going to go into the back of your rib cage. So let's think about what we've already done in the back of the body. We know we've worked this muscle right here, the tricep. We've worked the upper postural section when we pulled the elbows back. We worked some of the middle of the back and the rear of the shoulder as we pulled the ropes. So now we are moving into the back of the rib cage, right above where the waist begins. So we're aiming for the back of that rib cage, the muscles in between. Sitting nice and tall, I'm gonna bring them up to the shelf. We're gonna bring them down, low and wide. Now note that our elbows are going down and back at an angle. Squeeze the back of the ribs and then up to your shelf, shoulders low. And you're gonna bring it into a W position and then you're gonna reach to the shelf. You're gonna squeeze the back of those ribs and release. And the low back stays steady and release. And we pull with intent and nine. We pull with intent and eight. Down and back and seven. Low and wide and six. Lead with those elbows and five. Lead with those elbows and four. We're pulling for three and reach, pull them back for two. Here comes that isolation and hold. Your shoulders are low, you're squeezing the back of the ribs or pretty much anything else you can find, but keep breathing. Three, two, and one, let it go, rest. Okay, the next one's a bit of a doozy. If you've hung out with me here before, if we've done this together before, you might know the run. Believe it or not, we can run while sitting down. We can put the miles in without ever going anywhere. But it's not for everyone. Why do I say that? Because we have to leave the ground with two feet at a time. So if you check out my feet, you'll see that I'm setting up a heel and a toe, and then I'm going to switch and switch. So that moment of inherent instability happens here as the feet are passing in space. That may not be for you. You might try it on, and if it doesn't work, who cares? Put it back on the rack, I like to say. You can always come back to that one heel tap we did together earlier. You're working the same muscles, but it's much easier to control because there's always one foot in contact with the floor. So let's see how we do. You go as fast or slow as you want. We just want to respect the mechanics of the body. So first and foremost, we keep that torso steady, steady. We want to avoid rocking and a rolling. Keep your posture up and tall. And we're going to put the hands at the hips if you're steady or the hands below the chair for better back support. So when you're ready, we have a heel and a toe, and keep that torso tall, soldiers. We'll have a slow start, and one, and two, and one, and two. Come along if you're ready in three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, ten, and nine, and eight, and seven. Low back steady, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and done. Woo! That's putting in some miles right there. So as always, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. You may be feeling a little bit of tension here at the top of the leg where the hip attaches. So let's do some of those floppy things we did earlier. Bring those long legs out. 
and we know that we're moving the knees and the toes together, we rotate the entire leg within the hip, and then we bring the knees and toes up. Knees and toes out for rotation, and bring them up. We're keeping the hip nice and warm. The sillier it feels, the better it works. Two, and two. One more time, and done. And go ahead and bring them back. And if you prefer to get up and just walk around, because that does require a lot of, it creates some tension there in the hip flexor. If you want to get up and walk around, we're not going anywhere for a few more minutes, so come back anytime. Let's get into the shoulders if you have some shoulders. Now keep in mind, you can always stand up if you choose and do some of these exercises, particularly the upper body, because it will challenge your balance just to stand and watch us. If you decide you are standing, you know that you're standing tall, look up, stay up, look down, go down. So look up and keep the weight in the center of the feet. Okay, kids, when you're ready, let's think about the front of the shoulder. And this one's a little bit of a complicated one because I'm going to mix it up on you. I'm going to bring them into the center. I'm going to keep my shoulders low. I'm going to bring one arm high and one arm low. It doesn't matter which one. And then let's pull them swiftly to the center. And one high and one low. And then swiftly to the center. We go to the shelf and to the hip and then back to the center. We go to the shelf and to the hip and back to the center. And three, two, one, and pull. And three, two, one, waist steady. And three, two, one, try not to go behind the bod, right here. Not to go behind the bod, right here. And pull. And three, two, one, pull. And three, two, one, six. And three, two, one, six. As high as the shelf, five, but not necessarily overhead, five. Stop at the hip, and four, waist is steady, and four, we're high and low, and three, we're high and low, and three. Working some left brain, right brain, two, or right brain, left brain, two. One more time, and in, and bring them to the center, and hold. Carry your pails of water, shoulders are low, feel the weight of that water. Even if it's just a teaspoon, three, two, one, and let it go. And do what we do, roll them all around, roll them all around. Okay, moving right along, team, moving right along. We're getting there, we are almost done. I just got a little signal that we are closer to done than I might have thought, so lucky you. So let's do a couple more, let's do one more maybe, and then we'll do some stretching. And then we'll part ways for today. And we're gonna meet right back here tomorrow, right? Of course we will. <laughs> Even if only one of us is exercising, maybe we'll meet right back here tomorrow. Okay, everybody, when you're ready, we're going to think about the side of your shoulder, the side of the shoulder. Now, we're looking to come up. We want to respect the line of the shoulder joint or the motion of the shoulder joint, so we're only going to come up to shoulder height. So we want to try and avoid that high space above the shoulder. We're sitting nice and tall. We're going to raise one arm to the side. It doesn't matter which. Now we're reciprocating here, so we keep the waist steady, and as one arm travels back down, the other arm travels up. Let's take another look at that. Shoulder height on one side, and shoulder height on the other. Go ahead and bring those arms down and take a quick break. One thing to avoid, or let me say this, you know you're pooped if you have the propensity to lean through the waist or to lean through the waist. If you must lean, that's a great indicator it's a time to take a break. We want to avoid the lean through the waist. Keep your being up and tall. Okay, we're nice and tall. You got your flat footies, you got your shoulders up, you've got your eyes on us. Let's raise one arm. We're using the right one here in the studio. And right, waist steady, and left. Shoulder height on the right, pull. Shoulder height on the left, pull. Eyes on the road, up. And three, two, one, pull. And three, two, one, ten. And three, two, one, ten. Waist steady, nine. Palms are down, nine. Shoulders low, eight. Eyes on that road, eight. Chin on the shelf, seven. Waist steady, seven. We're sitting tall for six. Shoulders over the hips for six. Shoulder height or lower. Shoulder height or lower. And pull, four. Three, two, one, four. Elbows long but not locked, long but not locked. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, two. Pull it up and hold tight. Shoulder is low, your palm is down, and we're carrying a pail of water. Again, nobody knows how much water is in there. Three, two, other side. Up you go. Could be a light pail, could be a heavy one, but feel it all through here. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Spill it all. Okay, let's do a little round for the mind, and then we'll stretch our way out of here. A little left brain, right brain. So we're going to think about opposites. A left and a right, and then back into neutral. And if you've hung out with me before, you know it doesn't matter which pair you use, and if you end up with two rights and two lefts, just sit tall and keep breathing. Just get through the exercise. It doesn't all have to be perfect. Okay, when we're ready, we're going for the opposites. We're taking it out to the front and then back to the center and out to the front and back to the center and left and right, center, left and right, center. Send them out and bring them home. Send them out and bring them home. Eyes on us and shoulders low and bring it in. Eight and in and eight and left, right, seven. Left, right, seven, and six, and in, and six. Slow go in five, and in, and five. Sit and tall for four, and sit and tall for four, and bring it out for three, and in, and out, and in, and two, and in, and two, and here it comes, a one, and in, and you're done. Rest. Well, nicely done. I assume if you're still with us, you probably got some of that done. So here's to you. Okay, friends, we've made it. You're about to watch the credits roll. That means you have earned your opportunity to say that you have exercised for the day. Go ahead and bring those palms up. Let's open the lungs. We're going to open the lungs as we say farewell, and we're going to flip the palms, and we're going to separate the shoulder blades. Smooth motion, team. Here we go. Palms up and open. And turn the palms down and separate the shoulder blades. My name is Alexis, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for keeping us on air. As I like to say, it's because you're out there that we're here in the television. So thank you for keeping us alive. Check us out online. We're on DVD at PriorityOne.us. That's PriorityOne.us. I'll see you tomorrow. Breathing, don't forget all of that good breathing. Inhale and exhale. Farewell, everyone. Not every exercise is suitable for every person. Be sure to consult with your physician before starting, stopping, or changing an exercise program. All participants of this or any exercise program assume the inherent risk of injury due to exercise. If at any time you feel pain during any type of exercise, stop and rest.